Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about seasonal demand forecasting. So basically the, the idea behind this type of forecasting is that, you know, during certain months of the year, you're going to sell more than other months. And as a quick example, you know, if I'm selling snow globes, I'm probably going to sell more snow globes around Christmas time than in the summer months. So essentially what seasonal demand forecasting does is it takes into account the, the times of year that you sell more or less and it factors that in to give you a more accurate forecast. So here I just have a random set of data with some numbers here, right? So we have each month of the year and then these are our actual sales for these years. So we're going to so we're trying to figure out how many units we're going to sell each month in 2024 based off our previous data. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we want to find the average demand across those 3 years for a specific month. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple average function of all the units sold or our actual demand for January. And then we're just going to double click here and then that formula will drag across. And then we'll just kind of clean up some decimal points here and leave that there. And that's actually pretty interesting that some of these are even numbers. I just kind of use some random numbers here. All right, so this is our average demand by month. So the next thing we need to know is the average monthly demand across all months. So basically the average demand across all these data points. So we'll go ahead and do another average function and just do this. And then we'll lock that, go like that. And then obviously this is gonna be the same number. Get rid of some of those decimal points. All right, so using these two numbers, we can then determine the seasonal index which is gonna help us forecast our demand for 2024 based on any given month. And the way we do that is we just take the average demand by month and we divide that by the total average monthly demand across all our data points. And then we'll go ahead and drag that down, get rid of some of these decimals here, make it look nicer. So this is our seasonal index. So basically what this is saying is that one would be like normal right that would be average and so if it's above one then it's gonna have a higher demand than average and if it's below one then it's gonna have a lower demand than average it's basically what this seasonal index is telling us so the last thing we need to know is the total annual demand so in 2023 our total demand was 1155 in 2022 1053 2021, 930. So let's just assume that it's gonna be increasing. And let's just say that our, our demand for 2024 is gonna be 1350. So then to, to figure out where those sales fit in across each month, we would simply take the total annual demand for 2024, divide that by 12 to get it into terms of months, and then we will times that, and we're actually gonna lock this cell here and we're going to times that by the seasonal index for that particular month and then we're going to go ahead and drag that down and then get rid of some of these decimals here so then that would be our monthly seasonal forecast and then that should add up to 1350 which is correct and then if i simply hid these here um, then you know it's easier to compare the months right so then we can expect in the month of 2024 our seasonal forecast would be about 127 units that we're going to be selling so that way we can adjust production on a month-to-month -month basis if that's possible right we just have a better idea of what we need to produce each month based off our annual demand forecast thank you so much for watching i appreciate it so much please subscribe smash the like button don't forget that thank you and have a great rest of your day